Hi there, it's Kathy again at One Sweet Shop. Welcome to my channel. I thought today I wanted to solve a problem I have with storing all of these. And I have like a million little envelopes. And that's not all. I have those. And then I make miniature books. And I have tons and tons and tons of miniature things that I'm always looking for. And I keep them in a little box like this. And it's just, um, I had made these one time, but to me, they just look messy. So I want to do something that kind of looks decent and is still useful, but can expand. So what I went and did is I went out to a thrift store and I bought this. And this is a wedding photo album. It was $29, but I paid two bucks for it. So I got a really, really good deal on this. And yes, I could have used it as a wedding gift for someone. But I thought, no, I'm going to do something else. It had a little bit of flaws in the center. And I thought, I'm not going to feel guilty if I tear it down and use it for another purpose. So that's what I did. And I tore it down. I'm going to show you what I did with it. I just took pages. And I have this big cutter that I use when I'm doing like um, buy covers for books. And I just ripped this down here and then I took my cutter and I cut this whole piece off right here where it's all joined up there because it's quite a thick seam there and I didn't need that seam. I didn't think I was going to need that. So I cut that right off and then what I got from that is, sorry, I just bumped you and you're just shaking all over the place. What I got from that is these little pages here. And all I did was... Well, I could show you, but I already took everything apart. But I'll take this one apart this way and pretend I've cut it with my cutter. Oh, where's that? There, I can follow this line. And I'll at least be close to being even. There we go. I took them and I folded them like this is what I've done. And I just folded it because there's a little bit of glue there on the plastic of it. There's actually a pocket in here and it's for photographs. And there's a little bit of glue here where it's got the pocket sealed together. And I thought, this is gonna make me a fantastic little organizer for all of those. So I went on a hunt and I had made these this winter, these book covers. I had made a whole bunch of them. And you know, I was looking all over for my cinch this morning and confounded, I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I probably stuck it inside of a tote box and that's why I'm not seeing it. But I did have this cutter already made and I have these binding clips and I thought, okay, I don't have my cinch ready, but I possibly could use my crocodile to cut my holes because it does actually give me a big enough space. So I put these all together to try to keep them straight. They're not perfect. I, it looks like I folded some of them a little wonky, but the crocodile will go in here and cut my holes out. So it didn't quite, um, not having my cinch was not a total, a total loss because I can use this. Oh, I want to get those little, those little dots out of there so I can see my um I put some black marker and all I did was lay this inside here and mark it where where the hole should be and make sure it was going in the upward direction so I'm going to just cut these with a crocodile because I can and it saves me a little bit of work setting up the cinch anyway whoops I have to keep popping these out though. They're pretty thick and they have that plastic on them. So it kind of does a little wonky thing in there. But I like that these little pouch type things are sealed all the way around. I thought that was just fantastic. And it's gonna make my job so easy. Okay, so I'm gonna unpin these ones with those clips. And this is the way that it's going to go in there. And I kind of made it even, but I want this book to be able to spread out. Every time that I add some more, I want it to spread out. So 
that's why I decided to use the rings. Now this one here, I'm going to take and do the same thing with my little marker here that I had. I'm going to put all this stuff away and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to fill it up. Oops, I better make sure I've turned it in the right direction, right? So I'm just going to lay this on there, stick my marker inside and make my circles. Oh, there we go. So I've drawn all the circles on the inside so that I can cut holes again with the crop -it all It was a little bit easier when I had um, pinned this one side, but it's okay. It'll be all right. What I like about this is that I can add more pages if I want, or I could add two inch binding rings and make it really big. And that's kind of what I want to do. In fact, I might even remake another. I have um, a little book that I keep my plastic um, stamps in. You know how you get these? Um, where's my stamp set here? I did have one. Whoops. I have, um, I have a stamp set that's inside plastic containers, almost like um, a DVD case. And, uh, but I buy lots of those stamps when I go to Michael's and stuff or the Dollar Tree and you get those little flat stamps. Oh, am I in the wrong one? I'm in the wrong one. <laughs> I need to be in this one. No wonder I'm having a hard time here. Okay, let's shove that one in. Whoops. Where is my circle? I think it's right there. Is that where it is? Yeah, that's right there. Okay. Give that a punch. This one's actually thicker than the other one I was doing. What did I do with those little scissors? Oi, oi, oi. There they are. Let me pop these out of here. My desk has been covered with so many different projects this week. But I like to have variety. It keeps me busy. So let's pull that there and pop one in there. There we go. Thank heaven for crop dolls, hey? For sure. These things go through anything. Anyway, that's all I need to use that for. So now I can undo this one. And we have our pages made already. Like, this is so simple and so easy to do. I'm going to put my ring in here and I'm going to start feeding through the rings of this, these little photo pages. And I just love the fact that this made it totally recyclable. You know, instead of throwing that into the landfill, I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. And in fact, I think I'm going to make a second one because I do want a second one just for those little miniature journals. That I make. I can take it apart later and I might put some washi on the edge, but we'll see. We'll see if I get get that much put into it. Let me see. I think I have here. Let me use these. I am not strong enough <laughs> to do this. So I need to twist that one. Whoops. Onto there. And just not snap my fingers with it. There we go. So there's one. I'm probably making that look more difficult than it really is, but I don't have a lot of strength. I have a lot of arthritis in my hands, and I don't have a lot of strength in them anymore. So it makes it a little difficult sometimes to get these little things on. So and the holes are big enough. I do believe that I should be able... Oh, looks like I missed one. Oh, I did. Here, hang on. Let's try that one again. What did I miss? Okay, let's go this way. Oh, I see what I missed. Okay, let's put those in. Whoops. Let's do that one. Whoops. Yeah, see, these ones fell off on me. If I was using my cinch, it would just gather them all together. But, oh well. I could have put it through my fellow's machine too. But, there we go. It's back on. No problem. And, this one was a little 
easier. It wasn't so tight. Some of those clips are really super tight and some are really easy. Now, let's see, did I get everything? Yeah, I can finish the bottom. This was actually just a storybook. I think it was like a young reader book or something that I had. But I like now that I've got the top and bottom in, I should be able to feed these ones through. And it won't be so hard. They should be all even in there. And I'll show you how it's going to set up for me to use. Because there's quite a few pages in here now. I think I might want bigger rings. So I just might do that. And I think I might put something here so I can just hang it up. And I can just grab it down when I want it. So lots of different things. But I always have embellishments from journal packs and stuff like that. And whoops, there goes my glue. See ya. But anyway, this is how it turned out. And yes, it's not like it's a little, I have more room. So now I can take these because I end up having, see, look how it's all mixed up. I have them all mixed in bags here. And I really would like to put the ones together that go together to make it just a little easier for me to sort things out when I want to use them. And most of these ones here, there might be a couple, I might have a couple from the Polka Art Studio, but I think most of these are from the Digi and SBG for you. And look at that, this little pocket here is going to be beautiful. I have some really big, big, maybe I should put those letters by themselves. Actually, let's do that because I have quite a few of them, I do believe. Let's put these numbers together, these large numbers yeah, let's put them together in that one. And then I can flip it. And of course I've got the seam there, but that's okay. It's not going to bother anything to have it there. And I can put some more in here. I really like recycling these. I may pick up some more because, you know, now that I'm seeing how it's going to work, I can really recycle a lot of these. And I could do some for Christmas because I have a lot of Christmas embellishments. I can do some for different, just different holidays. Do some um, Easter, Halloween, and just fill up the pockets. And uh, stand it on a shelf. And you've got all of your, all of your embellishments separated. And that's what I really like. Oh, here's a big one. Nope, it's not. So I really like this idea. I don't know. You're going to be watching me do this for a while. But um, I hope that it gave you a good idea for what you could do just by recycling one of these old photo albums. I have, I think I have three of them. So, and I was buying them because what I was doing was ripping off the plastic and cutting it here. And I was putting them inside my journal pages just to add something different and then maybe make a little pocket in the decoration because a lot of them are really pretty. So I have a few of these put away and I think I'm going to turn them all into something like this. I think it's just a really good idea. And I think I'm going to have a lot of fun separating all of these little labels. Like this is just going to be, this is bonus for me. I'm, I'm just going to love this. I do have them. These ones are not sorted by the type. Like, these are a few different kits I have together. But it's okay. It was the same maker. So, this is going to be my, my Digi and SVG for you. And then I'm not losing those little envelopes either. Which is going to be great. So, and then, I don't know about my mini books. Let's see how my mini books would work. I'm not going to put them into this one, but see, this one's going to be able to expand as I'm filling it. So, and I'll just tap it down and everything's going to fall to the bottoms. It's going to be perfect for what I need. I'm going to be able to put all these into there and they're going to look uh, fabulous in there. Now, my little books, I'm going to make another one because I do have some more of these covers made. I have quite a few of them actually. And I have lots of things like this for miniatures. 
little labels and boxes and tags and things like that that I've been putting in here and trying to separate. These are little postcards and letters and document mailers and because I'm always making miniature books. I make little story books and things like that. And then I have lots and lots of sets of book covers that I want to separate by by where I bought them from, right? And then this this I was using it kind of flipped over and then there was another little journal of some sort. So I think I'm going to use those for you there. I have little newspapers. I could separate those into one of these. And I'm just looking at being able to get rid of some of these boxes I've been using. There's some botanical journals I was making. They're so tiny. There's some other tiny journals I was making. I love making these miniature ones for the dollhouse. Look at all these journals. There is tons of little journals in bags here that I have. And in fact, I have a box up there and I do believe there's a hundred and some journals in it that I made that were the miniatures. So I'm going to make up a, a, a kind of like a little book like this and I'm going to make it into the miniature journal book too. And I think that's going to be fantastic. So I have another elf, kind of an elf theme one. I, I put Mod Podge on this and just kind of let it sit. It's been sitting there for quite a long time, but maybe I'll decorate it up a little bit. I don't need it to be too fancy for myself to use. I may, however, put larger bindings in, uh, rings in, just so that I can expand this book to this full if I want to. And it'll be perfect to keep all of those labels organized. And I never realized I needed to organize them until I was working on those specimen cards the other day. And I was thinking, wow, I should really organize my lab labels by size and type. And it would be so much easier to just pull a couple out. So this is what I decided to come up with. And I just love the idea. I have a lot of apothecary labels too. Because I bought a whole kit of apothecary one time. And I have tons and tons of apothecary labels. Um, that I've cut off of sheets. So... This is from someone else, but uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun sorting this. So maybe I'll do a little flip through of the book once it's all full and sorted. And uh, you take care and thanks for popping by. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi there, I'm back and I finished filling this little book. I'm going to move some of these out of the way. Whoops, move my pliers. Oh, I have more things that I could be sticking in there. I wanted to show you, this book is really full, and I actually put even larger rings on it, but I do have some rings that are like three inches, and I'm going to put them on here, but I wanted to show you a different idea I had. See how full it is? This is like gator mouth extraordinaire, but look at how I've organized these. I'm going to put a little flap on here to close these, or maybe, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to make a little closure so that I can spread these out. Just give it a shake and it'll spread them out instead of them all gathering at the bottom here. But look at how I've organized all these different labels. Like this, I'll have to separate this into two pouches. It's a little thick. I've got some smaller ones there. I put some butterflies in here that I've been using the other day. These. Some more smaller ones. And the UPC ones and more words. And then some of the ones from Journal Say. Some of the other ones I have, I'll empty those into there. And some butterflies. And then these ones and some more words. And I still have room. But I wanted to show you what else I was thinking. I thought, why just make one? I have envelopes and envelopes and envelopes of this type of ephemera that I've cut out. So I went and found this. And I've had this for a long time. And it was just sitting there, and I went, you know, if I put long enough um, circles on there, and if I staggered it properly, I could actually put three books on here, and I could actually use it as a carousel. I'm going to try that. So... When I'm all done that, I might show you how it looks, okay? And uh, 
I do need to go down to Dollar Tree and I need to pick up some more of these because I don't know where I've put my two inch or three inch ones. I know I have them, but it's been a long time since I worked with them. So, but I do have enough of these book backs. And then if I wanted to just use one book, I could just take one book with me. But I could set this on my desk as a carousel and uh, use it that way too. I'm going to try something. It's kind of different. It was a different idea. And I thought, hmm, what else could I do with that? I would. I love to have things accessible. I love to be able to just flip through this and pick what I want. Whoops, I'm knocking everything over. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the other two. And I'll go get some more book bindings, the circles. I'll go down to Dollar Tree and pick up a couple more packages. And um, I'm going to put it together and see how it turns out. But anyway, you have a great day. I hope it gave you some ideas. This is a really cool idea. This is like a paper towel dispenser. And I thought, wow, that fits the, the rings. Why couldn't I make something even better? So I'm going to try it. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll talk to you again. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.